Shalom. Okay. We are the Hebrew Israelites out here to prophesy the downfall of America and death to the two thirds. Okay. We out here looking for the elect. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Okay. Rock and thumb to all you Akim that's out there that's pushing this truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We out here for the uh, uh, Judah, so called Negroes, Yahweh Dai. We out here for Benjamin, the so called West Indian Jamaican, Banyan Yan. We out here for Levi, I mean Benjamin, the so called West Indian Jamaicans, Levi, the so called Haitian uh, lawyer. <clears throat> we out here for Reuben, uh, Rabawan, um, the Seminole Indians, Gad, yeah, the so-called North American Indians. We out here for Issachar, Yashikar, the so-called Mexicans, Zebulon, the Balawan, Guatemala, to Panama, the indigenous Indians, uh, Manassas, Man Manasha, the so-called Cubans. We out here for Simeon. The so called uh, uh, Simeon or the Dominicans, right? Their name is uh, Shemaiwan, Ephraim, Aparium. Uh, 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 Ephraim is uh, Aparium, so called Puerto Ricans, right? And Naphtalia, Naphtali, Argentina to Chile, and Ashar is uh, Asher, Colombia to Uruguay. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who Yahweh is coming to redeem. One third the elect and two thirds are set up for destruction, man. And it's getting hot out here, you know. And that's why it's important that hey, brothers, we come out here and in all diligence, man. Because y'all about shooting y'all shot is knocking off who we supposed to knock off. Because there are people getting knocked off, man. You know, it's just like just personally, I know in the last five days, I didn't know four people that just died that I really know. So he ain't knocking off who he's supposed to knock off. And, and, he, and he waking up brothers constantly too, man, you know? So, hey, for the brothers who, who coming in, hey, you know this is the truth? Hey, man, just, hey, get out there, man, and, and push that word to the best of your ability, man. And remember, if you coming out there, hey, just like the elders say, man, you learn the basics, hey, push the basics, man. Because you pushing the basics, you gonna know more than anybody coming up. Because these people are stuck on the color of, of, the, of the Lord. You have a shot, they stuck on his color. So therefore, you're going you're gonna to know more than them. So just teach these basics, man. And all diligence and sincerity, man. And let's wait, you know, on, on, on our big brother to come back and destroy this place and get up out of here, man. That's what it's about. You know? This, uh, 2 Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy, uh, uh, 1 and, uh, 6. Wherefore, I put you in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of the power which is in thee by putting putting on, I mean, so like this Second Timothy uh, uh, one and six. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of the power which is in thee by the putting on my on I mean putting of my hands Crying. for for. The power had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Good. So he he not he didn't give you the, the, the spirit of fear, you know. So hey, in all diligence, man, hit the streets, man, and go out here and don't be afraid because that that that's you making yourself a living sacrifice, man. You know, he, he putting us back into remembrance because we once knew this truth, man. You know, we once knew it, and we don't. We don't fallen angels that fell from our uh, estate, our royal estate. We don't. We don't. We are those fallen angels, man. You know, we once knew this truth. We are the. We are the men of old. You know. So in this particular time, he's bringing it back. Hey, not to. Don't fear, man. You know. He gave you a sound mind. That's a stable. That's a stable mind, man. To to learn this truth, man. And also, he's giving you grace too, man. Divine influence of the mind to think upon your how about shit now shot, man. You know? And with that, man, that's like, you know, don't fear. You know? Because when you fear, hey, that, that leaves the avenue for Satan to jump right in, man, and, and mess with you. You know? So, you know. Okay. This uh Romans 12 and uh 1. I beseech you therefore, brothers, by the mercy of the power that ye be presented yourselves a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the power 
which is in, which is your reasonable service. Come on, it's your reasonable service, man. It's being the elect. It's our reasonable service to come out here and push this truth, right? To 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 the mass of the people to try to wake the elect up and plus condemn who who's supposed to be condemned and rebuke who's supposed to be rebuked, man. That's our job, man. That's our sole job while we're here. We're mouthpieces for the Lord and His Son. The Father and His Son. We're the mouthpieces. You definitely don't want Him to come down here and tell you. You know, because when He come back, it's going to be all hell is going to be breaking loose. So we these mouthpieces, man, to reach out to the elect brothers, man, so they can come back to this truth. So they could be uh, a covering to be put over them in this time of destruction, which is coming nigh, man. This is... Uh Romans 12 and 2. And be ye and and be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world, meaning what? Don't be out here doing what the masses of the people doing. The masses of the people being homosexual. The masses, the masses of the people are, are, are covered, are covetous, man. The masses of the people are adulterous, man. A masses of the people, they live in folly. Don't don't conform yourself to do what this world do. You stick with these scriptures, man. And this is this is the scriptures tell you how to live, right? You know, and how to reform yourself from the old 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 way that you used to be. This uh, Romans twelve and two, and be ye not conformed to this world, but be but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good. I mean, prove. What is that good and acceptable and a, and perfect will of the power? Perfect will of the power, man. That's to come out here and do the work, obey the laws, statutes, and commandments, have faith, right? <clears throat> right? That's that's the reason of service. We're we're these priests, man, coming out here on these highways and byways, pushing this word. That's our reasonable service, man. And to obey the Father and His Son, man. You know? Repent. Come up out of this world, man. Because this world, he's told us, is way past wicked. It's gonna be destroyed. You know. You don't want to be. You don't want to. You want to reform from that. You want to. You want to come back under the law, man, and, and have faith, man. You don't want to transgress, man. You want to repent and come back under, you know, the law, and and have faith. How about you now, This second Peter two and nine. For the Lord, for the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. Come, he knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation. And hey, I'm gonna tell you, I give you an example of that. A couple weeks ago, I wanted, I wanted to go somewhere and do a certain thing, and my car went down. Like this brother mentioned, he said, "Hey, maybe you weren't supposed to go on that route." Cause and, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had the car down for like almost two weeks. Whatever, whatever, whatever I wanted to do, he knew that that wasn't the right thing. Something in that wasn't the right thing to do, and he delivered me out of that temptation that I wanted to go do. Same way, you know, same way. Like when you when you walk by this truth, right? You might want to go do a certain thing, and then you come right by the brothers, right? And then you get this truth, man. You might was probably finna go steal a car or something. But then you walk by the truth and you receive the truth. And then y'all watch him, y'all shot, possibly save your life, man. You know? Go ahead. It's uh, 2 Peter 2 and uh, 9. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation mm -hmm. and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Go ahead, read it again. What did he say? He cheerleading. Tell my good job. Oh. <laughs> cheerleading. Uh, Second Peter's, Second Peter's two and uh, nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation, and to res and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Done. To reserve the just man. That's what he's doing. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of you scoffers out here, man. You think. You can come on the comment board and scoff against the men of the Lord and it just costs nothing that's happened to you. And you think you didn't got away, man. Y'all watching y'all shot is, is reserving you for a real sore death in the end, man. He's reserving you, man. I mean, oh man, it's gonna be beautiful though when, when he when he unleashed it on you. 
Because a lot of, there's a lot of y'all scoffers out there, man. Y'all been scoffing for a long time. A lot of you adulterers out there been doing adultery. And all you uh, uh, sodomites out there, man. Y'all think what y'all doing, y'all done did it for so long, you just think, oh, ain't nothing gonna happen. But it's gonna be a sore destruction, man, in the end. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. Second, Second Peter's uh, three and three. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Cunt. Scoffers. Mockers walking after their own lust. They do what they want to. A scoffer, man, he don't believe in the scriptures, man. A scoffer sit there and wait till you put videos up and be the first one on your board talking shit. Cunt. And they ain't, ain't hit nail scripture, ain't trying to find no understanding. But hey, the beautiful thing is, the power of Yahweh Shem Shai got him in that spirit. Yeah, nine times out of ten, he done fell out of some camp too. Yeah. You know, he yeah. fell out of some camp and he pissed off and he pissed off and he trying to draw uh, 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 Jake's to him that's, uh, that really they've been into it with the brothers who've been out there to you. So they really coming all against you. How about you now with shot? So they're just a, 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 a warning for you brothers that's just coming in and get out there and teach. You're going to have scoffers. You're going to have that come up on your page and try to make it seem like you're doing the wrong thing. You know? Try to make it seem like, look, what you're doing, you're wasting your time. You know, you need to cut your beard. You don't need to grow your beard. Even your own family, man, gonna act like that. You wasting your time. Ain't nothing gonna happen. That been going on. What they been saying? That been going on. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Ain't nothing. No, we here. This it. We gotta make the best of what we got. This it. They don't want that. They don't want. Y'all watching our shot to come back and deliver them out of these conditions. 